So to summarize what we just talked about in these examples, um, there's, a, there's a list, if you go on the, uh, when you look in the notes, you see this list of eight transformations, which of course were eight substitutions, and how they, what, the, what their effect is on, on the graph and, 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 a, and a specific point on the graph. Um, so in all these cases, we're going to let a, k be a positive real number. And then we have these eight substitutions, um, or eight transformations. First is if we replace the x with x minus k, that has the effect of shifting the graph up, or, I'm sorry, shifting it right k units. And so the point a, b is replaced with a plus k, b. Um, if we replace x with x plus k, that has the effect of shifting the graph left k units. And so a, b it now becomes a minus k, b. If f of x is replaced with f of x plus k, where the k is on the outside, this shifts the graph up k units. If we replace f of x with f of x minus k, we shift it down k units. Okay. Now, notice that the difference here is that the, the, these, these transformations, the k is in the inside, and so that has an effect on the x-coordinate. Here, the k is on the outside. Uh, so that has the effect on the y-coordinate. Um, the next two transformations or substitutions correspond to reflections. If we replace f of x with minus f of x, we are just changing the sign of the y-coordinate. So if we do that, it reflects a graph through the x-axis. And if we replace f of x with f of minus x, we're changing the sign of the x-coordinate. So that corresponds to a reflection through the y-axis. And then the last two transformations are a little, a little more complicated, um, especially when it comes to graphing. Will we multiply by a constant, by k? Um, if we're multiplying the whole thing by k, that's going to affect the y-coordinate. So, and that's, you're either going to be multiplying it uh, well, you're going to be multiplying by a, a positive constant. So it's either going to be a vertical stretch or a vertical compression, depending on whether k is, is bigger than 1 or k is uh, between 0 and 1. Okay. So because in this case, um, you know, the point a, b is replaced by a times k times b. So if k is 1 half, then obviously the, the, the y coordinate is smaller, and so we have a compression. If k is like equal to 3, then we have a vertical stretch because this would be bigger. Um, and then if we, the exact opposite happens in, if a k is inside, if we're multiplying x by k, this has effect on the x coordinate, and that means we have a horizontal compression or a horizontal stretch. And it's a compression if a k is bigger than 1, and it's a, com it's a uh, stretch if k is between 0 and 1. So everything is sort of, uh, you know, the opposite of what it should be when you change, um, when your substitution is in, inside the parentheses. So in this case, a, b is now replaced with 1 over k times a, b. Now why is it 1 over k? Well, you can see that if you want, if you want, if you plug this, you know, substitute this number in for x, the k's can, you want the k's to cancel. And so you get f of a equals b. Okay. So um, these are the, are, these are the uh, transformations. You probably want to make a copy of this if you haven't already and have this on hand uh, while you do the examples or your homework.